Right then, Chris Nidden, Tyco BMW. About to get my first taste of the BMW i8 here at Alton Park. So, flip. <laughs> Never driven anything electric before. Right, so, start finish straight here at Alton Park. The whole track here is just completely undulating. So, we're going into this turn one, great big bump here on the entrance, and we need to flow through this one as much as we can because uh, you really need to carry the speed because the next one's the rundown cascades. Not much runoff here, but um, that's a nice first corner because everyone tends to get themselves pretty much sort of like sorted out without making too much of a mess. You end up running all the way out to the curbs here on the outside and sometimes you end up clipping a bit of grass as you come down here. There's loads of people out on track tonight enjoying the uh, BSB activities. Campsite's absolutely fully loaded this weekend, so it's nice to see all the spectators. Everyone having a great time, give them the thumbs up, we're into that. So right, now we're coming to Cascade, so this is a real like heart in the moment sort of bit as you come down here, because you can't see anything as you come over the crest. The bike's completely on the limiter as you give it angle, and then what you've got to do is try and brake and go over this bump and decelerate as you come into the left of Cascades down here. Real difficult bit of track, you'll see the bike's getting really, really unsettled. Um, very difficult to get yourself back to this apex, and it's always nice once you actually finally get the bike completely settled. You get to about here on track, you finally feel like you can start to get on the bit of gas, and then it's the run down towards Lakeside. So, we open her up, we come down Lakeside down here. Only got one gear from Cascades, believe it or not. Huge undulation here on the entrance, and then we go back one gear, and you lay it into this one here. And this is a completely full commitment corner because you don't really break too much, you just throw it in. We had a little bit of chat today, which wasn't ideal uh, on a corner so fast. And then what you want to do is actually try and get back on the gas as quickly as you dare. And then we're coming into uh, Shell Oil's hairpin here, which is on TV doesn't look that banked. Well, it does look banked on TV, but believe me, when you actually walk it, you wouldn't believe how banked it is. You can really like drill the bike completely into this corner. And uh, some people like to go in, run it out wide and then cut back. Others sort of tend to hug the grass all the way around. It sort of ends up about the same as you come around it. And then on the exit, you sort of lose the camber. So you've got to be very careful on the exit, um, not to sort of like get into a high side situation, especially not to drop a wheel off onto the grass. I've done it before. I think Bridewell did it last year as well. So um, yeah, that's a real difficult one. Then we come into the first of the chicanes we've got here. We've got two main chicanes here at Alton Park. Uh, this one's a real difficult one because you start braking with a load of angle so you you brake as you're still cranked over to the right and then you have to flick left still with the brake and then flick right again so you do three sort of changes of direction with brake all in the same brake zone very very difficult um, and then what you have to do is get back on the gas as soon as you dare you take a bit of curb here on the exit because um, the time really makes a big difference is how good your exit is over here if i make a bad exit i've got a lap delta on my um, dash so it tells me how tells me basically how I'm doing against myself my best lap so if I make a mess there you lose time the whole way over this hill um, trying to control wheelies over here fully stamped on the back brake to keep the you know 220 horsepower of BMW is not easy to stop it from wheeling over hills like that so you got to fully jump on the back brake down there and then real heavy brake and this is um, a real strong passing place down into his chicane but it's never an easy passing place um, because it really tightens up on the entry. So it's a, it's a good place to pass because it's a long brake zone, but it's never an easy pass because um, you sort of have to park it up the inside of someone. Always got to be careful of the curb on the inside. It's quite high on the first one. Run through there. Then we flick left. We're giving it a squirt of power. We're a bit careful. The rear tends to get a bit tail happy. Then it goes quite light over here. This is a difficult corner, the final part of Hizzy's chicane. The reason it's difficult is you don't load the bike too much. You don't really brake or do anything as you go into it. So the front tends to want to run wide and then you run out to this curb, grab a bit of grip and then you look out as we go up and over Clay Hill. So we drift all the way back across to the right. You sort of clip this exit bit here over to the grass and then as tight in as we can to this curb. So you've got flat out in fourth over here, jump on the back brake to try and keep the front end down. The bike's bucking and weaving all the way. You want to run it out towards the grass over here. And then we're going to throw it in here and we're going now into um, Druid's corner. So we've got the left before Druid's. Again, another difficult braking zone because we're braking with angle. So we, the bike wants to go out to the left, but we actually want to, out to the right, sorry, but we want to go left so we can then get a good turn for Druid's. 
Druids is two corners really, but you sort of class it as one. So you come into the first bit, clip the apex, run out a bit wider, about here, middle of the track, and then you try and get back on for the next one. So this is the second apex there. Then you want to try and get as straight as you can. The track actually comes back to you, so you've got to be careful not to run it out too wide, because otherwise you'll end up on the grass. And then we've got the run down to the final corner down here, which is Lodge Corner and the scene of so many amazing British Superbike races. Uh, a great final corner to have because it's a great passing opportunity. You can really set someone up. You'll see people will cut tight out of Druids and that's how you know that they're definitely going to line someone up. And um, it's another one where you go over the brakes, uh, over the bumps and the brakes, and then you can really drill the last bit because the, the tarmac really comes at you. And then you've got to be careful because you lose Again, the whole way you've got to work, the, work with the bike with the track here at Alton, so it's really difficult. So the track comes to you, then it goes away over the crest, then it comes back to you, and then you've got to come all the way up over here, Marshall Post 24, get as close to that barrier as you dare, and then all the way to the start finish line, 18 laps of them, I think it is, and uh, yeah, we should be pretty grand. And that there is a lap of Alton Park.